Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to do a number of examples, starting with a relatively easy one, but it all comes down to using the rules properly. So when you see a negative in front of a radical, what does that really mean? And in essence, it means that you have the number negative 1 multiplied with the radical. So this is negative 1 multiplied times the square root of 100 divided by 81. Now next, when we have the square root, of a fraction, we can then separate the numerator from the denominator. This can be written as negative 1 times the square root of 100 in the numerator divided by the square root of 81 in the denominator. I think we can continue? All right, all right. So now that we have separated the numerator from the denominator, now this can be written as negative 1 times the square root of 100, which is 10, divided by the square root of 80, 81, which is 9. And so essentially, this is negative 10 over 9. And that's how we simplify a radical like that.